Welcome back. In our previous video, we looked at one of the uh, most important features, the Gmail feature, uh, that you will be using uh, in AP Lang this year. On this video, I'd like to take a look at another important Google app, that is Google Drive, formerly known as Google Docs. So once you've logged into your Google Apps account, go ahead and click on Google Drive and Docs. The first time you log into Google Drive, you may be prompted to watch this lovely little video here. Watch it, don't, it really doesn't matter. Hopefully my video that you are watching now will give you just as much information. But you should see a little option on here to skip and continue. Uh, go ahead and click on that to get to your actual Google Docs page or Google Drive page. And here is your Google Drive. Here's my fake student that I've created. Uh, this is the student's Google Drive. Now you're going to hear me say Google, Do Google Docs from time to time. Uh, I'm, that's just a slip up. Uh, for the first uh, three years of his existence, this was known as Google Docs because it was uh, an in-browser uh, way of creating documents, presentations, spreadsheets, and that sort of thing. Uh, now Google has changed it over to uh, Google Drive. Uh, and Google Drive is basically the same functionality of Google Docs but uh, it's added storage space. Now Google Drive uh, gives you five gigabytes of storage space, of cloud storage space, that you can use to upload and, and store anything in the cloud. Um, so the Google Docs are still here, but you're going to be hearing me refer to it as Google Drive. So uh, here is uh, my student's Google Drive. It has all of the documents that my student has created. So far, here's, there's only one document that my student has created. Uh, to see more documents, to see the documents that have been shared with me, uh, I need to click on this right here, shared with me. Excellent. Here are some docs that uh, my instructor has shared with me. This is a, a common place for me to uh, share assignments and handouts with you guys that I either didn't want to print out to save paper or that I wanted to make a, a redundant copy of uh, for you to have access to. Uh, so once you're here in Google Drive under the shared documents, uh, there's a couple of different ways to go about working with these documents. Uh, as I said before, in Google Docs, you can either work in your browser creating documents, uh, but also uh, you can use Google Drive strictly uh, to uh, store documents that you've created offline. And this is exactly how I use Google Drive in my classroom. Um, I upload files, typically Microsoft Word files. You see the little Microsoft Word extension here. And then I expect you to download uh, those Microsoft Word files uh, to work with them. So let's take a look at an assignment that you will do here in just a moment. This Google Drive practice. If you click on Google Drive Practice, it'll bring it up in a window. Now, since I only upload Microsoft Word files, um, you can't change this in Google. You can select it, but you can't change anything. What you need to do to work with this file is exactly what I intended. Rather than clicking on it, right-click on it and select Download. Excellent. This will download that uh, Microsoft Word document and you can then just open it up from wherever it's saved to and work with it like that. You can work with it like that. Once you are done, once you are done making, you know, adding to it or, or uh, you know, typing your essay or whatever it is that uh, you've been asked to do, simply save the document and make sure that you save whatever work that, uh, that I've assigned you. Make sure you save it uh, as a Microsoft Word document because, um, as you're about to see in the next video, that's how I want you to submit it to me. I want it always saved and submitted to me as a Word document. Well, that's about it for uh, this video on uh, accessing Google Drive, working within Google Drive, and downloading uh, documents from Google Drive. Uh, please uh, keep watching uh, future videos uh, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for easier access to those videos.